if you were working as a piner around here in the 1870s, you would have known this man very well. Francis McPartland was a police officer responsible for inspecting and issuing timber cutting licenses. So there you go. That's him there. Hi Francis. How you doing, man? He's been carved out of hue and pine. There's lots of these hue and pine statues carved around the place. I've taken photos of most of them. It's just started with a little bit of rain, so we thought we'd just uh, pop in here for uh, a little wait until the rain cloud goes past. This beautiful Huon River there. Here we are on the Huon River. There we go, there's a sign, Huon River. And it's very peaceful. I, I'm guessing this is the Huon Forest where they make the Huon Pines. Hopefully I'm pronouncing it correctly. Um, this is a forest that's made for logging. So um, this is a part of the vast Tasmanian forest where trees can be cut down. They manage it, they cut down trees and grow trees. So you'll see along the way as we're driving through the forest that there are signs saying when the uh, last cut down was, when it was established. We saw forest basically this size that was cut down in 1970s and it looks like it's untouched scrub. Um, can't wait to actually do the walk and get in there. Um, so hopefully it's not too strenuous on the body. Um, I believe that we'll be walking on like a, a bridge above the trees. So in the meantime, the smell of the pine is beautiful and the serenity is gorgeous. Welcome to Tasmania. logs by the side of the river there. Apparently the water is dark because of the leaves that drop in the water. But it's very clean. That's beautiful. Tranquility. This is only the first part of the climb. It's looking good. It's very mossy and cold in here. You'll probably hear me breathing heavy because it is quite steep and I'm not the fittest person in the world but you know this is how you get fit this is glorious here we are at the top of the Tarhoon Air walk, caution on the air walk, please exercise caution at all times. Surfaces may be slippery when wet. Wear appropriate footwear, stay within the protective railings. Yep. And do not interfere with other visitors using the air walk. Well, don't interfere with them. Trees are beautiful here. There's some really big ones. Beautiful ferns, nice and mossy. I didn't film on the way up because I was huffing and puffing, but I will film on the way down. So 
only one. One lot of traffic in one direction can go. So we had to wait for a lady. But if we can make it to the middle, then we can let these people pass. I've got to tell you, the smell of the air is beautiful, scented with the forest. Lots of bird life. Morning. Morning. You are going to right to the end, aren't you? Yes. Whoever that was. There you go. Very friendly people here in Tasmania. A lot of them are tourists like us. Oh, it's, it's high up. Enjoy the walk and the view, but watch your step. Air walks debris. Take care. Oh, I like that it's all downhill too. Up here where the birds live and the possums live and the wedge tail eagles. Goodness knows what else lives in here. Platypus, echidnas and Tasmanian devils. This is where they live. I found out the other day that Tasmanian devils are actually very shy. So they're not like the cartoon character, but they are grumpy little buggers. They like to hide in their hole. Stay out of view until nighttime when they go hunting. There's the river that we just crossed down there, the Huon River. Look at how tall that tree is. It's all out there. Huge. Trees, glorious trees. So when you're sitting at a picnic table, and it's made of pine, it might be hewn pine, and it might have started off in this forest. It might have started off as a tree as big as that. I wonder how many picnic tables you can make out of that tree. As we say in Australia, shitloads. <laughs> yeah. How much of the shitload, you ask? A lot. You're watching Steve TV from the Tahoon Airwalks in southern eastern forests of Tasmania. That tree there is a myrtle tree. being up here. There's a sense of uh, nature. Serenity. Being disturbed only by the noise of me and the sound of my feet on this metal walkway. Bloody big tree. If you're an eagle, 
that would be a good place to build a nest, I reckon. If you're a possum, not so much, because you'll be blown out of the tree. <laughs> River. Beautiful. Ah, oh, beautiful Huon River. I don't know what that mountain is called, so I better not say anything about it. <laughs> but out there is the end of the walk. The east, what's it say? Exi cantilever. Don't know what that means. Wow. I say wow a lot, don't I? Look at those trees. How huge. is even swaying as I walk. It's a good, I'd say, 300 feet long. This is about down to the end. I'm trying not to get in the way of their shot. Taking photos. Oh, it's wobbling like crazy. Wow. Oh my god. It's wobbling every step that I take. Oh. This is amazing. American bouncing. Last time I was here, there was a fat American guy. Bang, bang, oh, it's really bouncy. And it freaked me out. Well, just, I mean, I'm no lightweight, but just walking on here, it bounces. It's a little bit, oh, even Lisa walking, I'm swaying, I'm hanging on. Piction Forest Landscape, what's the name of that mountain? P Piction River. That must be Piction River to the left. Huon River to the right. That's a Piction Valley. Oh, it doesn't say what that mountain is. At this point, it's swaying and I don't care. 